Why does the Fuji X100V have a leaf shutter? What is a leaf shutter and what does it do? Hey everybody, it's Boo Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today we are going to talk about the leaf shutter on the Fuji X100V. This is one of my favorite topics because one of the things that I love about this camera is the fact that it has a leaf shutter, and it's become so popular in recent years, and I guess in about in the last year and a half, and I think a lot of people have the camera and they don't even know it has a leaf shutter, or they don't know what a leaf shutter is, or what it does, or, or why it's on the Fuji X100V, so let's talk about that and really understand more about your camera. So first of all, what is a leaf shutter? Well, to understand that, you have to understand what the shutter is inside most cameras. Uh, most cameras have what's called a focal plane shutter, a rolling shutter. Now, the best way that I can think of to describe this is think of a garage door. So like a garage door opens from the bottom, right? So here's your garage door and it opens and then it closes. Got that? It opens and it closes. Well, a rolling shutter, a, a focal plane shutter, it opens and then it closes from the bottom like that and then it resets so it's like one door opens and then the another door closes and then it resets and it does it again so every time you pull the trigger on a on a camera like say my fuji x-h2 is sitting back there it goes click click like that okay so that's what it does a, f a, a leaf shutter is different. A leaf shutter is more old school in that, you know, when you see pictures of aperture for a camera, how you see all these blades that come in like this and ma make the hole and they open, right? That's what a leaf shutter does. It's a series of leaves and they all come in. Now, what's the difference between these two shutters? Why is one more effective than the other or different than the other? Here's the main difference. With a focal plane shutter, if your shutter speed is fast enough, then the actual opening will never ever be completely open. But with a leaf shutter, it's either open or it's closed. There's nothing in between, right? It opens and it closes, right? Got it? But with a focal plane shutter, it opens and closes. And if your shutter speed is fast enough, say over with most cameras, say 1 200th or 1 250th of a second is usually about right. Once it starts to get really fast, it can't open all the way and then close in 1 250th of a second. It's too fast. So what it does is it starts to close before it's completely open. So it'll open and then about halfway through the opening, it'll start to close. So it'll open and then close like that. And do it again open close so in effect what you get is instead of having the shutter open and then close you get a rolling strip of open like a little opening about like this that just travels across the lens and the light just pours in through that strip and this is why a camera can have a shutter speed that's incredibly fast you're like how can that thing be so fast like one eight thousandths of a second because it's not opening and then closing in one eight thousandths of a second what it's doing is it's opening just a teeny teeny bit and then it's just traveling across the entire sensor that's how it can have super fast shutter speeds so what does this mean in terms of the leaf shutter you know how is the leaf shutter going to be different well first of all the leaf shutter can't have as high of a shutter speed as a focal plane shutter can have because a leaf shutter has to open all the way and then close no matter what your shutter speed is it has to open all the way and then has to close now one of the ways that this is combated one of the ways that this makes it easier for the leaf shutter to have a fast shutter speed is that a focal plane shutter is sitting in the back of the camera right in front of the sensor and a leaf shutter is sitting in the front of the lens very close to the aperture very close to the hole in the lens how does this change things well think about a garden hose you have a garden hose, right, and there's water pouring out. If the water is pouring at my face and I want to keep it from getting on my face, I'm going to have to put something big in front of my face to block the water, right? But if I took something small, even something as small as a nickel, and I just put it right up on the garden hose, that would also block the water from getting to my face, wouldn't it? So the further the opening is 
or rather the, the further the, yeah the further the opening of the shutter speed is from the opening in the lens the further back that opening is the bigger it has to be so a focal plane shutter is a big thing on that covers your your sensor in your camera but a leaf shutter is a small thing that is right up on the hole right up on the aperture right on the opening of the lens it's closer just like taking a nickel and putting it over the front of a of a garden hose it doesn't have to be as big the further you back away the bigger the thing has to be to keep the water from getting onto my face the same thing with a camera the further you move it away the bigger it has to be to keep the light from getting on the sensor so what this means is that the uh, the uh, leaf shutter can be very small and because it can be very small it can come completely open and completely close fast not as fast as a focal plane shutter but still pretty fast mm. so that's one of the ways that they offset the whole shutter speed problem that they have with leaf shutters now part of the problem of having a leaf shutter is it's expensive <laughs> Because unlike a focal plane shutter where they have this mechanism that's in the body of the camera and it's there all the time and you just put lenses, you know, the hole, you put that on and off the camera, a leaf shutter is built into the lens usually, or at least it's at the very front of the camera body. So every time you buy a new lens for that camera, you are also buying a new shutter mechanism. So as a result, the lenses that have leaf shutters built into them are usually pretty expensive. So if you've ever wondered why the Fuji X100V has a built-in lens that you cannot change, the reason is because for them to put interchangeable lenses on this camera that had leaf shutters would mean building a pretty expensive lens. And I think Fuji decided, you know what, we want to put a leaf shutter in here, so we're going to have to be a fixed lens so that we can just build that into the cost of the camera, and that's it. But if we try to have interchangeable lenses, we're going to have to have a whole new line of lenses that are built just for this camera, which I think would be really cool. <laughs> I, I talked about that in another video. Uh, I think that that would be really cool, but they're not going to do it. Believe me, they're not going to. They're not going to come out with a whole new line of lenses as much as in my in my dreams. I would love for them to happen. Have that to happen. So leaf shutters are more expensive. The other problem that you have with leaf shutters is that you will have a lower maximum shutter speed. The maximum shutter speed of this camera is one four thousandth of a second. The maximum shutter speed with say the Fuji X H two or the X T five is one eight thousandth of a second. So you get an extra stop of shutter speed when it comes to a focal plane shutter than you do versus the leaf shutter. And when I say you get an extra stop, you actually can get more than that because the top shutter speed on this is one four thousandths of a second, but that's not at F2. That's not wide open. That's at F4. At F4, you can get one two thousandths of a second. If you're at F2, you can only get, I'm sorry, at F4, you can get one four thousandths of a second. At F2, you can only get one two thousandths of a second. Why is that? Well, because when you go up to say F2, the leaf shutter has to open all the way and then close. If you're at say F5 or F8, it doesn't have to open all the way because the hole that it's covering gets smaller. If the hole is smaller, it only has to open as big as the hole, right? So if, so if you're at F11 or F F16 and the hole's this big, the leaf shutter only has to open that much. So it can do that really fast, fast, one four thousandth of a second. But if you're at f2, wide open on the Fuji X100V, the hole is as big as the lens is. It's, big, well, it's not as big as the lens, but it's big. So it has to open more, and it can't do it that fast. It's not a focal plane shutter. It has to come all the way open before it can close. And that hole is too big, and it can't do it that fast. So with the Fuji X100V, if you are using, say, f2, and you try to set your shutter speed at 1 4 thousandths of a second, you will notice that the number goes red in your viewfinder. And that's to let you know that you're not supposed to be doing that. And you may take the picture and the picture may look fine, but Fuji's trying to tell you you're not supposed to do that. That that focal that, that leaf shutter is moving too fast and you're in danger of damaging your camera by doing it that way. I had cancer. As a result, I have to drink all the time. If you're wondering why I drink all my videos, there it is. So that's one of the cons of the leaf shutter. What are the pros? Why do we have this shutter in this camera? Why do we care? Well, it's quiet. It's very, very quiet. If you've ever used an X100V, if you have one, you know, and if you don't, you will know. It's a very, very quiet camera, which makes it wonderful for street photography and taking pictures without people knowing that you're doing it. But the really interesting thing about a, a leaf shutter is that the greatest benefit to a leaf shutter is something that people just don't generally think about when they're talking about this camera. And it's flash photography. Yeah, because 
You just don't think about flash photography when you think about the Fuji X100V, right? It's natural light. You take it out, you shoot, 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 you have a good time. But flash photography is where the leaf shutter really starts to shine. And it's because of flash sync speed. Now, I made a whole video uh, that shows you how to use the flash on this camera outdoors in daylight and why the uh, flash sync speed matters and why the um, leaf shutter matters too. And you can go check that out. I'll put the link up top. But basically, it comes down to this. Because of the shutter in a focal plane camera, right? If you go above, say, 1 250th of a second, it's, it varies for different cameras, but generally it's around 1 200, 1 250th of a second. Then you run into that situation where I talked about where the shutter is starting to close before it's completely open. And because of that, when the flash goes off, it's not going to hit the entire sensor. Because instead of the entire sensor being open and the flash going off, it's just a piece that's traveling across the sensor. And the flash is going to go off at some point in this route. So it goes off here. And you get light on that part of your sensor, but you don't get light on this part down here because it's covered. And you don't get light on this part up here because it's covered. So you run into a problem. You don't run into that problem when you're using the Fuji X100V and its shutter. Because it opens all the way and then it shuts every time. So what does this mean? It means that if you are working in a situation where you need a high shutter speed, that a small amount of flash will enable you to still get your picture. Where do we have a small amount of flash? We have it right here. A small amount of flash built into this camera. And this is one of the things that really makes this camera so unique and so special. I know people love it because of its retro styling and the way it feels in the hand and it looks so cool. But photographers, people who are really into it, camera nerds like myself, we understand that what really makes this camera special is that leaf shutter because it means that this little tiny flash which in most instances would be completely unusable if you were outside right any other camera with a little built-in flash like this if you're outside on a bright day that black that bright flash is not going to do anything for you but with the fuji x100v it becomes very powerful because with the fuji x100v you can take your shutter speed up to in this case say two thousandths of a second right and you're at f4 and two thousandths of a second and as a result you're still going to get full power from your flash what about high speed sync you're saying no 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 if you're using high speed sync on a regular camera high speed sync every time you turn it on cuts down the power of your flash <laughs> so you're going to lose some power and as far as i know they don't build high speed sync into any cameras that have a built-in flash like this anyway so you'd have to have an external flash so the funny thing about this camera and the funny thing about the leaf shutter is that what makes it so cool is something that people don't seem to really care about <laughs> and it's that you can use this flash i've taken pictures on the beach on super bright sunny days with a shallow depth of field because of the little flash in this camera and what it can do because of the leaf shutter now if you don't understand shallow depth of field if you don't understand some of the words that i'm using be sure and check out my free ebook all you have to do is go to my website bureperry.com go to the education tab and pick up my free ebook i have a couple of free ebooks there and i also have an entire ebook on how to work with natural light photography and how to do portraits and natural light how to find the light how to use the light and if you use the code that is listed down in the description you'll get 50 percent off on that ebook i also have an entire video 55 minutes on how to use off-camera lighting outside, which can be very, very challenging. So be sure and go check it out. All the links will be down below. So that's it. That's the Fuji X100V and the leaf shutter. That's what makes it so cool. And if you're not using that particular feature, if you're not trying to use this little flash outdoors on a bright day or even dabbling with off-camera light, you're really missing one of the great things about this camera and its leaf shutter. Thanks for watching.